This is an electric unicycle, or EUC for short. And this particular brand and model represents but a fraction of the current technology developed amidst the growing market demand, new emerging companies trying to fulfill such, and the myriad of brands that are already available for consumers at the end of the year 2020. But before we go deep into this futuristic mode of transport, Let's first define what it is, how is it that this deceivingly simple looking device packed with technological marvels got to be where it is today. On this first chapter of the series, we will travel a bit back in time, look at the history of the personal electric vehicles or PEVs, and set the stage for what will be a journey through the fascinating world of electric unicycles and personal electric vehicles. Please do not forget to subscribe, join the conversation below, and if you like the content, support the channel by giving us a thumbs up. The English word wheel comes from the old English word huel, huogol from Photo-Germanic huegwan, huegwand from Photo-Indo-European hueklo, which is an extended form of the root quell, which means to revolve or move around. Cognates within the European include Icelandic huol, wheel, tire, Greek kuklos, Sanskrit chakra, the latter two meaning circle or wheel. At the making of this series in the year 2020, the wheel is utilized in most transportation vehicles and every day by billions of people around the world. It is estimated that by the year 2030, annual passenger traffic will exceed 80 trillion passenger kilometers and most of this movement would not be possible without the usage of the wheel in one form or another. Current electric unicycles are built around a single wheel, so it seems somewhat paradoxical that one of the earliest humans' inventions is at the core of some of the most advanced ones. When and who created the wheel remains unclear. However, the invention of the wheel is credited to the Ilamites as their sculptures portray them and it is the earliest record on history. During the late Neolithic era, also known as the Stone Age, the solid wooden disc was invented, and it is believed to be in part and in conjunction with other technological advances at the time what gave birth to the early Bronze Age. Going back to the Copper Age at 4500-3500 BC, the world sees the invention of the potter's wheel which is a wooden wheel with a hole and a wooden axle used to create pottery. It is during this same era that the earliest wheeled vehicles and the domestication of horses gave birth to one of the earliest modes of transport. But it was not until 2500-1550 BC that the invention of the spoked wheel and the chariot was believed to have taken place. The invention of the spoked wheel saw the creation of lighter and swifter vehicles, and the Sintashta culture is believed to be the earliest examples of wooden spoke wheels ever used. Horse cultures of the Caucasus region use horse-drawn spoke wheel war chariots for the greater part of three centuries, and Celtic chariots introduce iron rims in the first millennium BC. The spoke wheel was continued to be used without major modifications until 1870s, when wire spoke wheels and pneumatic tires were invented. Wire spoke wheels are under tension and not compression like the earlier spoke wheels, and this allowed for wheels to become both stiff and light. Radial spoke wheels evolved into tangentially spoked wire wheels, which were used widely and created a proliferation on transportation with cars during the Industrial Revolution and well into the 20th century. Nowadays, and as technological manufacturing processes evolve, and there is an ever-increasing demand for lighter, more comfortable, and safer wheels, wheels on cars are mostly cast alloy. Yet, technology continues to improve on both the wheel itself, as well as the tires used. This combination is what makes modern EUCs both comfortable and stiff enough, and provides maneuverability as well as durability. The stage had been set, and by the middle to late 1800s, the first ever bicycles and unicycles were born, and with it, a new era of personal transportation. 
It is believed the first unicycles came as an evolution to the penny farthing bicycle. Its peculiar name came from the British penny and farthing coins, as when placed side by side, it resembled the iconic shape of the bicycle. Penny farthing was dangerous and not comfortable, and around 1870, English inventor James Starley, described as the father of the bicycle industry and others, began producing bicycles based on the French bone shaker, but with front wheels of increasing size that used the tangentially wired spoke wheels and pneumatic tires. A few years later, in 1885, Starley's nephew John Kemp Starley developed from what his uncle started to create yielding to the beginning of the modern bicycle. From variations of the penny farthing came the impossible wheel, also known as Ultimate Wheel or BC, after the comic strip BC. Perhaps this is the closest analog cousin of the modern electric unicycle. It represents the most basic type of unicycle, consisting of a single spoke wheel with pegs extending from the axle. The rider mounts the wheel by jumping onto the pegs while in motion or while putting one foot onto the plate or peg and pushing along like a skateboard. The impossible wheel lacked the gyroscope, motor and modern computing power we now have on EUCs, making it even more difficult to ride than a pedal unicycle and a reason why it was pegged impossible. In 1885, Richard C. Hemming patented a pedal monowheel, and in the 1930s, various motorized versions were developed and demonstrated, yet they did not have commercial success. Later on, Charles F. Taylor was granted a patent for a vehicle having a single supporting and driving wheel in 1964, after some 25 years of experimentation. In 2003, Bombardier announced a conceptual design for such a device used as a sport vehicle, the Embryo. In September 2004, Trevor Blackwell demonstrated a functional self-balancing unicycle using the control mechanism similar to that used by the Segway and published the designs as the unicycle. In 2008, Rhino Motors demonstrated their prototype unit. In January 2009, Focus Designs demonstrates electric unicycle to Segway inventor. In March 2010, Shane Chen of Inventist filed a patent application of a seatless electric unicycle associated with the Solo Wheel, which is a product launched in February 2011. In October 2010, Focus Designs published a video of an electric unicycle with hub motor and a seat. Late in 2015, the Ford Motor Company patented a self-propelled unicycle engageable with vehicle intended for last-mile commuters. This is the birth and genesis of the modern electric unicycle as it stands at the end of the year 2020. The market is currently dominated by Chinese companies, producing even more complex EUCs with more battery capacity, extended range, torque, suspension, and greater speeds near the low 50 mile an hour mark. The EUCs and all other PEVs alike are at the cusp of a massive technological overhaul, and EUC companies such as Veteran, Emotion, Kingson, Bigotti, keep on advancing us forward towards a new era of personal transportation. episode, we will be digging into the technology of the current electric unicycle as they stand today, as well as the newest wheels available to the market and some surprise interviews. Please remember to subscribe, and thank you for watching Genesis.